What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are just hustling, we're pushing, we're just getting this car ready for paint. We've got a lot to do, short amount of time. Well, not a lot to do, but still gotta do a lot of jams. Gotta put this door on, gotta get the carpet out of the car. There's a lot that we gotta do in a relatively short amount of time. Now we do have all the pieces for it to all to go together. I've also gotta get the wrap off this door, put it onto the wagon. Um, because I got Reese coming over tonight who's going to be attacking the whole car with an orbital before we put it into primer and everything. So, like I said, like I'll say again, a lot to do. So, no point wasting time, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so it is absolutely shocking weather today, so I'm in my full work gear, trackies, hoodie, and Ugg boots, all black, kind of count as a work suit. Um, what we have to do now is get this door on. So, what first off, it didn't have the bolts into the lock because I got this door from a wrecker. So I had to steal that from the other door because it wouldn't actually go on the lock. Once you get it on the lock, you can kind of then put the front bolts in and... God, I forget every time how heavy these are. Okay, so now the door can't drop. All right, now we've got the door on there. All right, so we got this door on there now. I have to remove this badge and I have to remove the vinyl from down here as well. Um, and I've got to pop the, uh, the door handle off, which is really easy. Um, God, just a lot of boring work today. That's going to go behind the scenes. So I've also got to remove that trim. Reese will bring a caramel wheel so we can knock those out. All righty. So I don't know how I'm going to do this with only one hand, but these are simple as to get off. Not the glue per se, but... The badge themselves, you just heat up with your trusty heat gun, bit of fishing line, and it comes straight off. As easy as that. So I've put the, all, this door back on. It's probably actually gonna be easier to unwrap it uh, with, with it on the car like that. But the guards are on the car, the doors are on, everything's just on with a couple bolts just so we can sand it. Um, I feel like I'm still missing a lot of stuff, but we're pretty much ready to go. All the trims off, all the trims are out from here. Annoyingly, you can't remove this one, so we'll have to work around that. In there's off. Um, Got that off, the bumper's literally just like clipped in. So we've still only got this guard that's rolled. Um, so we still need to come through, chip off every little bit of paint that's gonna wanna come off now. Cause if it's sitting underneath the, uh, the base coat and the color of when we paint over it, we've got a weak base under that. It's just gonna chip and flake off anyway. So get it all off now. So when we do the wet on wet primer, it's all gonna stick to it. So tonight we will be addressing this dent here, this one here. Reese reckons he can fix the little body line just there, but I'm not too fussed. Um, and then I think tomorrow, because I've mounted this guard now, there's like a, a nice little lip. I wonder if you can see it. It's, a, it's only small and it's like already half rolled. So it's, it's literally, I'll just chuck the roller on it, bang it up and then just straight smash it straight around. I should be able to do it in one swift motion. And that'll be the fronts. I'll do that on the other side as well. Um, and then because we don't care about cracking the paint, we can actually just smash out the other side. The only reason I haven't already is because we're kind of running out of room a little bit. It's a bit tight over that side. I need to buy some go jacks for the back so I can just push the car over. I should really do that. That's going to be super helpful. But anyways, once it's, uh, once that one's rolled, uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow because I can just smash them out, do them real quick. Um, because I don't have to worry about the paint, you can just smash them out, which is really good. Um, you still take a little bit of time just so that you're not absolutely turning the guards to bacon. But uh, yeah, it still comes out pretty good. Uh, alrighty. Oh, also, I didn't tell you, but I, I turned off that light already, but I cleaned out the entire engine bay. Um, I haven't stripped it, but I cleaned it. So we were going to paint it with the rest of the car, but I just don't think we're gonna get it done in time. So I'm gonna do things ass about and backwards and do it probably the way you're not supposed to do it. I'm gonna wait for the outside to be painted 
Once it's cured, once it's perfect and everything, I'll then tape off the rest of the car. And then using like DNA spray cans, I'm just gonna do it, do it myself. Um, I have that red rush, um, like multi-color changing. Uh, it's like a red gold. Um, so I'll put it in, I'll do the engine bay in that because I guarantee sooner or later, the paint's gonna get damaged. It's gonna get chipped. It's gonna get burned. It's gonna be something in the engine bay. So if it's a rattle can that's easily available, I can just touch it up whenever, whack some 2K clear over it from like the cans that you can buy. Bob's your uncle, it's done. It doesn't need to be like the outside of the car because I guarantee you we're gonna scuff it, we're gonna scratch it, we're gonna something over time. When it's easily to be touched up with just like good quality rattle cans, um, plus I, I enjoy having it like contrasting between the colors. It should look mint, should look mint. Alrighty, enough rambling for now. All right, so I'm calling it quits now because I kind of have to edit this video and the weather is shocking. So it's pretty cold and miserable out there. So if any of you guys follow me on uh, on Instagram too, which you should at Picnic Media, yeah. Um, you realize, like you'll see that I was looking for a new set of uh, tail lights and one of you legends actually pulled through amazingly. Sean Elric, you actually, not only is he local, so he could drop them off today, but he brought me a set of tail lights brand new. They were the exact same as what were what was in the wagon before it crashed. So... We do have one spare of those, but now we've got a brand new set that are perfect and fresh and new. So yeah, he brought these by this morning while I was still sleeping because uh, I was obviously, uh, I worked over the weekend. Oh, over the weekend. I worked the last couple of days, so uh, I zonked out and he uh, came by and dropped them off this morning. But I can't believe that he, uh, he donated these to the cause. Like, that is unreal. Um, I, was, I was blown away when he, when he offered. Um, and now, that's, now that we've got these, that's pretty much the external of the wagon complete. So we just went to uh, we just went to Super Cheap Auto. I just got a bunch of like wet and dry sandpaper to do the bumpers and the plastics. Um, and then I got some of this stuff so that you can remove all of the residue that the wrap left behind and that the stickers left behind from like the OEM panels and stuff from the VF stuff. Um, and then just a bunch of fresh rags because you, I feel like I haven't had a clean pet like a clean set of rags in. God, years. They're all, they've always been dirty. They've always been ones I've stolen from dad or something. I know, I feel like this video is really short and it's kind of jumped around and I haven't really accomplished anything, but I did do a lot off camera. I'm pretty stressed at the moment and like really under a time crunch trying to get everything to work at once. And yeah, it's extremely stressful. There. So all the running around and everything and trying to get the time in to do this and like you do a little bit here, then a little bit here, then a little bit here, then a little bit here. You don't finish one thing because you've got a million things going. And yeah, it just gets a little bit stressful. So I definitely felt that in today's video that it was really jumping around and that I didn't get much accomplished. Um, but the car, like priority on the car over filming, we need to get that done for this weekend so we can get it in the booth and get some color on it. <clears throat> and then this weekend I can film all that. So on Monday's video, it can be a massive, awesome, cool production, high production value video. But yeah, for at least for today's video, I feel like this is gonna be it. Um, pretty much, I'm just gonna smash out this edit, upload it, and then jump back out in the garage because Reese will be here soon. And we're just gonna smash out as much as we can tonight and tomorrow night, and then hopefully the car should pretty much be ready. Alrighty, that's gonna be it for today's video. Catch you guys in the next one, which will be Friday, 6 p.m. Alright guys, catch you in the next one. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper. Got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it's turning to envy whenever they see that you shining.